Hey guys, today I'm making a quick video on the differences between Logic Pro and FL Studio. Okay, so this video is going to be a little messy and I'm going to make a better version further down the line, but I wanted to get this information out there for people that didn't have it. I was looking around and I couldn't find the differences between Logic Pro and FL Studio. And there's a lot of obvious differences, but I want to know what the comparison was with Logic Pro uh, 10.5 and FL Studio 20. So it's October 3rd, 2020 to give you an idea on what updates I'm running currently. I've been using FL Studio for about eight years, I'd say, and then I just got Logic about six months ago. Just starting to get into it, just starting to use it, looking around, seeing what kind of information there was about the differences and what was similar and how I could most easily integrate from FL Studio into Logic, and I couldn't find anything. So I wanted to make a little video about what some of the differences are, so maybe if you're using Logic and you're thinking about getting FL Studio, you can know what to expect, or vice versa. If you're like me and you've been using um, FL Studio for forever and you want to get something a little different, it's going to be a little bit jumbled, but bear with me, I'm going to give you a lot of good information about what you can expect. The things that I really like about Logic, the things that really impressed me when switching over from FL Studio. The first thing I'll say is that there's something nice about having a software that's native to an operating system on a native hardware. Mac makes Mac OS and they make Logic and they make the computer. So it's pretty seamless and you know what to expect. There's not gonna be a lot of issues, a lot of errors. It's crashed maybe about five or six times in the countless hours that I've been using it. Um, so that's a quick bonus. Two, it's pretty cheap. For everything that you get with it, 200 bucks is nothing. Also, if you have a .edu email, there's uh, a discount that they're doing where they bundle it with Final Cut Pro and a couple other softwares for a pretty cheap price. So check that out if you're in school. You get a lot of really high quality synths with it. You get a lot of high quality compressors and plugins and reverbs and things like that. Right off the bat, definitely better than what you get starting out with FL Studio. Another thing is flex time. Logic is more audio based than FL Studio is. FL Studio has tried to catch up from being just a beat grid. It was never originally designed to be tracking vocals with it or tracking guitar, and so it's not super intuitive in that way. Logic is. It's very performance-based. The MIDI works very well. The audio works very well, and one of the things that they do really well is flex time. Flex time is the ability to quantize audio, or essentially. There's other things you can do with it, but that's the big takeaway for me. For example, I'm not a super good guitar player, but with flex time, you can actually drag the points of the audio so that it's quantized. You're a little bit off rhythm, then you can actually just fix that in post, and it sounds really good. So that's a super cool feature. There's also some built-in uh, Melodyne style tuning into it, which is really cool. One of the other things about Logic is it's super clean. It's such a clean interface, and it's really smooth to work around. Um, it's very intuitive in a modern way. FL Studio, I feel like, is intuitive, but it's also kind of messy at the same time. It's a little clunky. Um, this, okay, so this is huge. If there's anything you take away from the video, this is the thing that blew my mind the most. People have been saying this for years, that Logic or Pro Tools plugins just sound better. But I was really surprised when I was using Waves uh, Tune Real Time. That's the uh, auto tuner I use, and I used it in FL Studio. When I would drag the same vocal take from FL Studio into Logic and load Waves Tune Real Time into Logic, it just sounded better. It literally tuned the notes differently and in a better way in Logic. So I don't know what that is. I don't know why it does that. And if anyone knows, please explain it in the comments to me because I'm really curious as to why this is. But it literally makes the plugin sound different. And it's not just in my head because it's actually tuning the notes to different notes. I had to like retake some vocals and readjust some things because when I brought a project in from FL into Logic, it, it tuned it differently. Like the, the take was, it just reacted differently with the tuner, which is really strange. But overall, it's just a better sound. Um, that's a specific example with one plugin, but it seems like all the plugins just work together in a little bit more of an organic way and sound better. And again, I don't know why this is, but people have been telling me this for years. I didn't believe it, but once I actually got into the software, I was really surprised to see that that was the case. So that's a definite selling point for me. Another last thing, and probably one of the most important things for me at this point, is vocal comping. And just um, comping in general, the multi-track takes 
in Logic. FL Studio, again, is not designed for audio. You can do vocals in FL Studio. I've done them in FL Studio for years, but I didn't realize how much I was missing out on really good software when I was able to track vocals, do four or five takes, and I could really easily scrub through and find the best sections. When I make the next video, I'll show you exactly what it looks like, but essentially, it's just selecting each piece of each take, and then they all collapse at the end, so you just have one continuous take. It's such a time saver and it encourages me to take more takes because I know that I can easily chop in between them whereas instead in FL Studio if I had five takes it's five tracks on the playlist editor but here it all just collapses down into one take, one folder take. Um, it just makes it really convenient. Alright, Logic cons. The things that kind of suck about Logic when comparing it to FL Studio and maybe some other DAWs out there. The patterns in MIDI are a little bit hard to edit. It's definitely oriented towards people that are playing. So I've had no trouble playing with my keyboard and using quantizing and making it sound really good. And it sounds really good in that regard, but if I'm going in and editing things after the fact, it's not super intuitive. And it takes a while to just move around the piano roll and things like that. The other thing is if you have a loop and you want to loop it throughout the track, then in FL Studio, if you edit the MIDI of one pattern, it'll change the MIDI across the board. But in Logic, it's a little bit different. You edit one note on the loop, and it's only in that particular section sometimes. Uh, sometimes it's not, but it's just not quite as quick as when you're in FL Studio. Uh, the last thing is that there's really not as much hip-hop support. It's not really super intuitive in that regard. Um, if you're going to make a beat, I would suggest sticking to FL Studio, especially if it's going to be something simple, a simple trap beat, something like that. Something that doesn't have a lot of audio, or maybe is audio that you're pulling off splice, and you don't have to edit it at all. Um, I would stick to FL Studio. The one thing I will say that Logic 10.5 has going for it is they just added a beat grid um, to this update. So it's a lot like the beat grid in FL Studio, so if you switch over to Logic, you won't have to miss that. You won't have to do MIDI tracks in the piano roll for your drums. You can actually just click the beat grid like on FL Studio. All right, so in comparison, FL Studio to Logic, what are the pros for FL Studio? One, FL Studio is fast. It's so fast, especially if you're just starting out. It's definitely faster than Logic. There's a lot of other things you have to set up in Logic, but FL Studio is really quick. If I wanted to make a beat, I'd definitely make one faster in FL Studio. There's tons of support for FL Studio as well, specifically if you're looking for like a beat remake or uh, tutorials, I think you're going to find more stuff oriented towards hip hop for FL Studio because there's tons of kids out there producing that are killing it. There's so many people using FL Studio. You probably know people that you know do music that have FL Studio on their laptop and make beats. An obvious bonus is Windows capability. If you're going for Logic, you have to have Mac, which I would recommend. The one nice thing is that FL Studio is now on Mac, which just happened about two years ago, I think. You can have best of both worlds if you have a Mac. If you're on a Windows machine, Logic is going to be out of the question. One of the things is a really cool and simple piano roll. A lot of people have said this, and now I get it. The piano roll in FL Studio is so intuitive, so quick, so good. Highly recommend that. Um, definitely one of the strong suits of FL Studio. And the last thing that's a pro for me on FL Studio is the drag and drop functionality. And FL Studio is particularly simple, especially when working with Splice. You drag a drum sample into the uh, beat grid, and you've got your kick drum, you've got your snare drum. It's really quick. It takes a little bit more to get it set up in other DAWs. All right, the cons of FL Studio. The things about FL Studio that kind of suck. One, it kind of sounds cheap. It definitely sounds better when I bring the FL Studio stems into Logic. Again, if someone knows what that is, if there's a bitrate difference or if it's something like that, go ahead and let me know in the comments because I'm really curious because people would tell me this for years that there's something a little bit better to using Pro Tools to mix on or Logic to mix on. So there's something that's lacking from FL Studio to give it a warm sound. It just kind of sounds um, almost a little thin. Uh, another con is that it's kind of gimmicky. The whole thing feels kind of like a video game or like a cheesy like school software from high school. It's not super professional, honestly. The last con that I'm going to talk about is that if you want to get a lot done, you're going to have to get a lot of plugins. I think with Logic, you could probably get anything you want done, uh, different tuners, different synths, and things like that. Uh, it's hard to get really professional sounds 
without them. So that's it. I know it was a little jumbled. I'm going to make a better video that's a little bit more descript. But if you have any questions, I've learned a lot over the past several months about the differences between FL Studio and Logic. So if you're switching from one to the other or you have a specific question, let me know in the comments and then I might just address you directly or I'll add it to the video that I make after this that really goes in depth on the differences. But all that to say, they're both great softwares. I still use FL Studio primarily for making trap beats and hip hop beats. And I'm using Logic a lot for vocals and mixing and more organic sounding, particularly audio and things like that. So that's it for tonight. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.